Hi guys, it's uh, Toby here, and I am back with a FIFA 16 video. Today is the uh, top 10 fastest players on the game, on uh, Ultimate Team. And um, some of them do have some uh, quite weird names, it might be quite hard to pronounce, I might get some wrong, but you know, what can I do about that? So uh, anyway, let's get started. Um, up first, we got Innocent Emma Gara, that's exactly what I mean to see. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a Swiss striker. Uh, his last card was on FIFA 14. Um, I don't really know why he wasn't on FIFA 15, I think it was because he was in a league that wasn't on. Uh, the game, but as you can see, um, he's gone up from on FIFA 14, he was a 71 rated striker with 89 pace, and now he's a 74 rated with 60, uh, 94 pace. Sorry, not 64 pace, that'd be quite slow. On a uh, FIFA 16, as you can see here, the comparisons. Um, I'm doing the order in foot header order, by the way, so uh, this is why you like say, for instance, you might see that the I think the next four have 94 pace as well, but like they're they're it's because of these like pace, acceleration, and sprint speeds of like order them. Differently. So yeah, as you can see, he's gone from 89 to 94. At number 9, we have uh, Fahad Al Mawalad. He's a Saudi Arabian. On FIFA 15, he was a, he was, um, a right mid. Um, 67 rated with 94. And now on FIFA 16, he is a 70 rated left mid with 94 pace again. And uh, he's just switched, switched sides, it seems. And some of his stats have, must have been upgraded since how he's uh, 70 rated now. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. Uh, then after that, we have... Ryo Miyachi, Miyachi, I don't know, but uh, he's a Japanese left wing, he stayed the same position, kept the same pace, just gone up two ratings in between the two games, so uh, you know, pretty average really. Now uh, number seven, we got Kekuta Mane, um, I don't know what I don't know what country that is, um, I should have looked before but I don't know what it is, but he has actually had quite a big upgrade, plus eight um, in between games, he's gone from a bronze to a silver with 94 pace still, keeping the same pace that of course, no changes in acceleration or sprint speed. At number six, we have Dominic Ogiru. I'm, I'm liking his hair on his new card, but uh, he's gone. He's actually gone down in uh, in pace stats. As you can see, he's gone from 95 to 94. Um, he's gone in, and I think that's I think that's in the MLS that team. But I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, so you can see uh, once again, he has actually had a downgrade, which is funny to see in a top 10 thing. But he's gone from white wing to a striker. And number five, uh, actually the highest rated on FIFA 16 card now, we've got uh, the highest rated in this top 10 anyway on FIFA 16, we've got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, already well known on the game as a fast striker. Um, he's got the same He's got the same pace, that he's just gone up plus three in ratings, he's gone from a right mid to a striker as well, which is his normal position. I don't really know why he was a right mid on, uh, on FIFA 15, but you know, who knows, it's EA. At number four, we got Jurgen Dam. Um, he's gone from a 71 rated to a 73. Uh, he's actually gone from 89 pace to 95. So he must have done something in the last season to be able to get himself up plus six ratings in pace. So I had to think for a minute there what it was. As you can see, though, his acceleration has gone from 87 to 95, and his sprint free has gone from 90 to 95. That's just incredible. At number three, you've got Ernest Asante, another Ghanaian player now. And uh, as you can see, his hair has really decreased. But uh, his rating and his pace haven't. Uh, his, his rating's gone up plus six and his pace has gone up two. You can see his acceleration's gone to 94 and sprint speed up to 95. So that's looking pretty good for him. Now at number two, uh, we got the highest, the, the fastest Premier League player. We've got uh, Fia Walcott. Stay in the exact same position, same nationality, same club, same rating, same name, same pace, same dribbling, same shot, same defence and just a little tweak in passing and physical. Actually his acceleration's gone down but his sprint speed stayed the same. And now, number one, keeping his title from FIFA 15, we have Matis Bolly. Uh, the Ivory Coast Gin, uh, uh, he's actually right mid. Um, I think that's in the uh, Bundesliga, his club. But he's actually been downgraded as well. He's gone from 97 pace to 96. I mean, 96 pace is still unreal, but it's just incredible how someone can be that fast because do you reckon he could beat Usain Bolt in a race? I don't know, really, but... Thanks for watching this video. This has been I and my um if you'd like to see any more top 10 videos like this, then please be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll I'll be straight onto it. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Peace out.